So here's a question that I have for you. In your mind and in your life, what's the hardest part of minimalism? Take a second to think about it, or better yet, write it down if you can. Okay, <laughs> now I'm going to challenge you on what you wrote down or on what you thought about. See, the hardest part of minimalism is not getting started. It's not continuing to do it once you do start. It's not decluttering sentimental items or making those hard decisions around all of your what if items. It's not maintaining an aesthetic or creating a minimalist aesthetic, whatever that means, right? And it's not having to change what you find value in. Now, I'm sure you're sitting there thinking, well, dang, Ron, you just, you just shot down everything I was thinking about, huh? <laughs> no, don't get me wrong. See, all of those things do have their challenges in their own way. But what I'm going to share with you is different and I'm sure it's going to create that aha moment for you by the end of this conversation. See, the hardest part of minimalism is learning not to be hard on yourself throughout this entire journey. See, a common misconception about minimalism is that it's about deprivation or starvation or creating this stuck in a box mentality. And it's not. But for the sake of conversation, let's say every time you're out and about and come across an item that you like, want, or find value in, you always tell yourself, well, I can't have this or I can't use this because I'm a minimalist. Or you say, I can't have this or I can't use this because then others won't see me as a minimalist. And ooh, <laughs> caring what other people think is a fight that I've won. And it's definitely a conversation for another video. But I think you get what I'm saying. See, the moment you start to have this mindset, start to be hard on yourself, is the exact moment when life becomes less enjoyable. When truly minimalism, living with intention, should make life more enjoyable. You know, honestly, I still battle with this myself sometimes, being hard on myself because I chose to live life differently. But see, something that I've learned about living with less is that this statement is incomplete. Living with less what? Stuff, things. See, whenever we hear the phrase living with less, naturally we think about less physical possessions, right? Which is why we're hard on ourselves, which is why we become addicted to decluttering because I have to have less, right? Which is why, why we're afraid to add things to our life because we don't want to ruin the minimalist look. <laughs> but see, Living with less is about more than just stuff. It's living with less stress, anxiety, worry, those negative memories, those heavy emotions, and those toxic relationships, right? And I'm starting to understand that now, which is why I'm no longer going to be hard on myself. And I hope that I can encourage you to no longer be hard on yourself as well, because this journey is about so much more. It's bigger than just donating old things. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you get a thumbs up for me. If it's your first time tuning in and you also enjoyed it and you want to join this community, make sure that subscribe button down below and tap the bell to be notified every time I drop a new video. And always remember, please always remember to stay true to you. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.